Connecting your Oculus Quest 2 to PC is very doable, so let's get right into it. And if this video is any help to you, please do the channel a favor by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot and it would really help me get to 1000. As you see, we're getting pretty close. Before you start anything in this process, go download and install Steam. In Steam, there will be an app called the Steam VR Performance Test. This is going to be the quickest, easiest, and honestly, the most enjoyable way of figuring out whether or not your PC can even handle VR related activities. Activities. Once you run the program, just let it go. It'll go for about a minute to two minutes. It'll just scan and do like a nice like image video of whether or not your PC can actually handle VR. And then from there, you'll get a rating from not ready to ready. And mine was ready, not to brag. But if your PC is not ready, then I guess you'll have to buy a new one or you could just upgrade it. But Chukavelli, how am I gonna upgrade it? I don't know what it requires. I don't know anything about VR. You're so handsome. Thank you, thank you. Hold on, let me explain it to you. You could just go to the Oculus website where they'll tell you what your PC needs to run VR. The link will be in the description. The beauty of this site is that instead of having to run around experimenting which parts would work for VR, they literally list it for you for what you should and shouldn't get in order to get VR up and running for your PC. So make sure to check out that link if you are one of the people that are going to have to upgrade your PC it's very helpful now once you've figured out that your PC is capable of VR then you have to figure out which cable you're going to use to connect your headset to your PC there's two types of cables you can get you can either get USB-C to USB-C or you can get USB-A to USB-C both will work now you can go to the official oculus website and buy the official oculus link cable which you won't hear me say often but i actually do recommend even though it's very expensive it comes at 80 dollars but it's really nice to buy something that you know was going to work like you'll have peace of mind see the truth about a lot of these vr cables is that Honestly, there's a select group of a few amount of companies that are actually making consistently good VR cables. And I'll link some other options down below that are less expensive and just as good as the Oculus Link cable. But I'm just saying, you know, for me, when I was starting off to have peace of mind, I just got the Oculus Link cable, paid that premium, and listen, it worked. It worked. I didn't have to run to Reddit to figure out why my cable wasn't working. Now, the problem though is that the official Oculus Link cable is USB C only. So, if your PC does not have a USB C port, then you are going to have to find an alternative. What you're going to do, you're going to find a USB A to USB C. But if you're a rebel and you decide that you don't want to use any of the links that I linked down below, that's fine. Just know that you have to choose a cable that supports data transfer and charging if it does not do these these two things your cable is not going to work so whatever you choose just make sure that both of those are checked off and you'll be fine now that you have your cables the next step is to go download the oculus app which is a very simple very easy process once you've downloaded the app all you have to do is go to devices then click add device click on your quest 2 and then use the cable that you have link it to the oculus quest 2 if you haven't already and if your quest 2 isn't already powered on it should be now in order for this to work and it'll automatically be detected once it's detected all you got to do is test your cable connection highly recommend it because you just want to make sure that your cable works after that you're fine and you never have to test again but if you ever need to do some troubleshooting you can always come back to this step and do it again then on your quest it will ask for access to the desktop which I highly recommend. It will make it much easier for when you're navigating your PC on your Quest 2 headset. And then once you've enabled access to the desktop, it'll ask you to enable access to the Oculus Link as well, to which you will reply yes. And then boom, you're in the Oculus app. And from there, you can just start choosing games, downloading, connecting with friends. It's all out there for you. But Chagavelli, what about Steam and Steam games? I really want to use Steam. Come on, tell me about Steam. I really want. Don't worry, careful viewer. I have you in mind. Let's get into that. So first you have to download Steam, which is a very simple process, just as simple as downloading the Oculus app. And then once you've downloaded Steam, you're going to go into Steam and download Steam VR. And then once you've downloaded Steam VR, go to the Oculus app on your PC, head to settings, click general, and then toggle on allowing unknown sources. You can also do this in the headset and I'll show you, but it is a lot easier to just do it on PC. But the same things apply. In the app, what you're going to do is that you're going to head to library, Go to apps, then click filter, and then where it says unknown sources, uh, I'm gonna click it off, but then obviously click it back on to unlock the unknown sources. And then 
you can go to your desktop, click on Steam VR, click open, and now boom, we are entering Steam VR. It'll load for a little bit. And then boom, here we are, Steam VR. And you can go to the store. From here, you can really look around, see what you want. And there you can see your friends in the top right over there. Now understand, you don't have to go into Steam VR every time that you want to play a Steam game. As long as your Steam VR games get downloaded to the desktop, you can just click on them like this, open, and boom, you will launch your Steam games the way that I'm doing them right now. Here we go, play a game. And we are hopping right into Black Top Hoops, of which I'll probably be making a YouTube video for real soon. <laughs> and now you're all ready for VR gaming on PC. If I did anything wrong, please let me know. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'll try to get to all of them. I appreciate you coming out. Remember to like and subscribe. That's all I can ask for. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, man.